this is the first movie about completely installing and fine-tuning and, and making layouts icon themes all that changing the XFCE Linux Mint 18 how to do that so we started from a clean crisp installation of Linux Mint what have I done I have installed VLC to test if my movies are okay I have installed simple screen recorder to see to make to be able to make the videos these are the things I have done I went to martenbart.be and I copy pasted these three lines so now I have a program to record as you can see and that's all I did okay so the idea is to make as many tutorials as I need to really fine-tune it going from kernels and NVIDIA drivers and all that will go into details and each movie another detail so that being said um, let's go to the following item any item any installation will give these kind of pop-ups and telling you look guy you gotta update so we're gonna follow this as well here he says you want to switch to a local mirror maybe the best thing to do is to get files from a local copy a mirror so obviously you're gonna take the one with the biggest number same goes for the other one so we have two mirrors the one is from Linux Mint and the other is the base for Ubuntu you apply update the cache so now they know where the files are at the other servers you close it install it and then we have a new mint update version and you install everything that's been posted that's been sent to you and there we can spare some time so I'll get back to you once everything is installed a pop-up just came uh, asking my question the configuration file was modified by you or by script if you want to keep your current version you say keep otherwise you say replace you can check out the differences between the files I'm gonna say replace haven't changed anything it's a crisp installation though let him overwrite it almost there or should I pause everything has finished and we are left here with three lines as you can see we have uh, a kernel and if you go look and check this one then we're now at kernel 40421 so there is a new update and what we can do and there's no problem in doing it is just install it and say install the updates or in my case I don't want uh, extra space I don't know 100 150 megabytes and I want to get rid of the messages since I'm gonna download the latest one the kernel 4.8.5 so a little bit down the road so this is 4.4 so I'm gonna sell tell him right mouse click ignore it so I don't see it anymore ignore it and ignore it so it's a choice and where are those ignored things you can go to preferences blacklisted pages here are the things I ignored you can get rid of it and then they're back so it pays off to check what are what these options are and if you can change them so this is um, at the end of the movie meaning next movie will be getting the newer kernel okay 